Why is NASA planning to crash a space station on Earth? The ISS has been a beacon of international cooperation and scientific advancement for over two decades. Orbiting Earth at an average altitude of 253 miles, it has served as a home and laboratory for astronauts from around the world. But like all things, the ISS has a lifespan, and its end is drawing near. The ISS wasn't designed to last forever. As it ages, NASA has reported that this decade will mark the end of its operational life. By 2031, NASA plans to retire the ISS in a rather dramatic fashion, by crashing it into the ocean. This might sound alarming, but there's a good reason for it. Safely deorbiting the ISS, which weighs over 925,000 pounds, is no small feat. The plan is to gradually lower its orbit until it enters Earth's atmosphere. As it descends, the ISS will begin to break apart, with the remaining fragments targeted to crash into a specific location in the ocean known as Point Nemo, often referred to as the spacecraft graveyard. This remote spot in the South Pacific Ocean is the farthest point from any land, making it an ideal location for the controlled deorbit of space debris. But why crash it at all? The answer is simple. Safety. Leaving the ISS in orbit after its operational life could pose a risk to other satellites and future space missions. Space debris is a growing concern, and the ISS, if left unchecked, could add to this problem. By ensuring a controlled descent, NASA can mitigate the potential risks associated with an uncontrolled deorbit, which could result in debris scattering in unpredictable patterns. To achieve this controlled deorbit, NASA has been allocated funds to develop a new space tug. This specially designed spacecraft will guide the ISS to its final resting place. Previously, the strategy for deorbiting the ISS relied on Russia's robotic progress cargo vehicles. However, with the new budget, NASA aims to have its own dedicated spacecraft for the task, eliminating the dependency on external entities. The decision to end the ISS's mission in this manner aligns with NASA's vision for the future. The agency has expressed its intent to transition from the ISS to commercially owned and operated destinations in low Earth orbit by the late 2020s. This move will pave the way for newer, more advanced space habitats and platforms that can support a broader range of scientific experiments and potentially serve as stepping stones for further developments. With a budget allocation of $180 million, NASA aims to create a specialized space tug to guide the ISS to its designated resting place eliminating the need to rely on Russia's progress supply spacecraft for the task. This move underscores the importance of safety, precision, and forward thinking in space operations. As we bid farewell to the ISS in the coming years, it's essential to remember the invaluable contributions it has made to space research and the unity it symbolized among nations. The end of the ISS era will pave the way for new horizons, innovations, and explorations in the vast realm of space. Thank <laughs> you.